Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, in a previous video I did a few days ago, I basically fixed Halo 2 co op for the first two missions of Halo 2 Heretic and Armory. For those of you who didn't realize or who remembered wrong like I did, those two missions never supported co op at all in any way, shape, or form on any version of Halo 2. So, I had to mod those two missions to actually work over co op. But it wasn't just a simple matter of like turning co-op on. Well, at least not for the armory. The, the mission heretic, yeah, it was pretty much just like that. But armory, if I uh, kept the, I had to remove the whole like aim test at the beginning that we see here, because if I didn't remove it, the game would just, well, it would just crash and kick everybody out uh, very, very shortly after the uh, the aim test is completed. And that is because the mission basically desynced and we'll cover that in a little bit but that got me wondering you know like I because I had to remove that due to desyncs in the script uh, whatever script was used for the aim test it just doesn't does not work on co-op and that's why I had to uh, remove that from the co-op version of that mission but that got me wondering because other Halo campaigns like Halo 1 and Halo 3 they all have aim tests as well that you can't do over co-op so I was wondering if that's the same case with the other missions and maybe that's why these aim tests were never done over co-op because they would never work over co-op. Well, as you can see right here, and I'm speeding this up a lot because it's a lot of uh, footage here for CE, but as you can see, in CE, if I also enable the aim test, uh, the whole tutorial really, on CE over co-op, it's, well, the same thing happens actually. Uh, the, the whole mission just completely disconnects, well, not disconnect, it, the whole mission completely desyncs, and it's like each player is basically playing their own mission at this point. Um, basically, it, it desynced the moment that uh, player 2 got out of the cryopod. Now, Halo 1 and Halo 2 are very similar in that the game prefers player 2 as the player that does all the player 1 actions. But, um, yeah, so once player 2 got out of the cryopod, the cutscene started for player two, but not for me. And from my perspective, because I'm player one, player two is still in the cryopod and never got out. Uh, and I'm stuck at this part of the mission. I can't leave the cryo bay. But player two is already like long gone. Like player two has already reached Captain Keys, did a whole cutscene, uh, even killed my character like several times. But nothing happens. No, uh, nothing affects me. Nothing I do affects the other player except for checkpoints. I can still revert checkpoints, I can still restart the mission, and I can still end the mission. That's really the only control I have over uh, Player 2's game at this point. But our two games, even though we're still connected on co-op, they're completely desynced. But unlike Halo 2, Halo 1 just <laughs> ignores that. Like Halo 1's like, you know, hey, you're desynced, but go ahead, keep playing, have fun, knock yourself out. Whereas, as you just saw at the beginning of this video in Halo 2, if I keep the aim test in, uh, it, it'll work for a little bit, actually. Like, right here at the beginning, I did, uh, I, you know, I, I brought the aim test back on co-op just so you can see what actually happens. Uh, so, I can do the aim test for a little bit. But then, shortly, like, after the first one, it just starts desyncing. And you can already see where it's desyncing uh, on my screen and player 2's screen. Like, it's just not... The first light I looked at did, you know, turn off, but once we got the second light, that's when the desync happens. And now, you know, to player two, I'm still in doing do, doing the aim test, so player two doesn't see me walking around. And then shortly after this is when Halo Two kicks everybody out because it can't handle the desync any further. But you know, as you saw, was Halo One, Halo CE, it didn't care at all. <laughs> now Halo Three also has an aim test, but Halo Three is interesting. It is a much more modern Halo game than Halo 1 or Halo 2. And it, well, the aim test is a lot simpler in Halo 3. It's uh, literally just a quick look up and down with the Marine. But it's still skipped over co-op. If you play this mission on co-op arrival, you know, the mission does work. You can watch the whole cutscene together. But the aim test will be skipped and you just go right to the cutscene where uh, Chief encounters Arbiter. But, once again, I enabled it for Halo 3, just like I did in Halo 1 and 2, to see what happens. And, you know, it's hard to tell, because other players, 
over co-op on this mission, and it does support co-op on this mission. It has spawns and everything. Uh, other players are just behind the tree there, and you can't really see what player one is doing. But it seems like no desync happened. Uh, it all the cutscenes kicked in properly and everything. So it seems like Halo 3 does actually it could support co-op on the aim test tutorial, but there is really no point in doing that. But it technically could, as you just saw. But Halo 1 and 2. <laughs> their aim test tutorials just completely desync and uh, just in case of Halo 2 everyone just gets kicked out but in the case of Halo 1 it, even though it's completely desynced you can just keep going and everyone just playing their own uh, mission completely so it's, uh, it's really weird how each game handles it how the netcode handles it but yeah Halo 1 and 2 aim test not great for co-op like doesn't even work really Halo 3 seems like it does work, no desync, but it, you know, doesn't really, it's very short, it's very brief, and doesn't really matter much for co-op. Uh, I know, like, newer Halo games, like ODST and Halo 4 kind of have, like, a semi-aim test, like, you look up at a button and you press it to open uh, the pod or the hatch, but I, I imagine those probably just about the same as Halo 3, uh, and, you know, they, uh, well, actually, those do happen on co-op, if I'm not mistaken. So it, those don't really, uh, there's really no need to test those. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments, and anything else you may check out like into, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.